Hey guys, this video is really for my mom. Um, what I have here is, let me take this thing off the tripod real quick. What I've got going on here is an HP 6000 series, P6000 series. Um, it's upside down. But if you look at it, it says P6000 right there. And I believe it is P6230. And what we're doing is we're replacing the motherboard because we have a bad hard drive controller. What I'm going to do is I have some extra blanking plates, a set of screws. I have the new motherboard, which is a Gigabyte 78 LMT USB 3. So that's going to modernize this computer. This computer is not really that bad. It's got a Phenom 2 uh, or Phenom X2 AMD processor. Uh, it has 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, the power supply is a little weak, so I got an EVGA 500 gig, 500 gig, 500 watt power supply. I've got a Gigabyte GeForce 210 graphics card. This computer is not supposed to be for anything heavy. I'm not going to be doing video editing or anything like that. It's strictly for using as a workstation. However, I also have a silicon power uh, S240 gig SSD plus as a storage drive I've got a 500 gig Western Digital standard drive it's 5200 rpm but since it's going to be the the secondary drive and not the main drive it should be fine um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the motherboard and the power supply out of here and put it the new one in there I also have a Cooler Master Hyper something or other I can't remember the exact name of it wait a minute I got the box down here Hyper T2 Motherboard or motherboard. Hyper T2 uh, cooling tower for the CPU. I didn't wasn't gonna buy another stand-up cooling tower, but this one was on clearance at Micro Center in Tustin. So I picked it up for $15. So I thought that was a pretty good price. Seeing as how the Old power, the old cooler is probably proprietary. I don't know for sure um, if it works with a socket AM3, I believe, motherboard. But uh, I'm not going to take any chances. I don't have a stock cooler, so we're just going to have to go with this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the motherboard. I'm going to make sure that I can hook it up. And once I've done that, I'll come back. Talk to you soon. Okay, progress so far. I've got the old motherboard out, this guy right here. That's the new motherboard there. We're going to get the processor off the on the new motherboard with the new heat sink right there in the middle. And then we're going to put the RAM on, and then we're going to put the whole thing into the case. So I'll be right back when we're there. Okay, so we're about a week later in my process here. And the reason why is uh, the whole thing works, and it works really well. Here, let me show you. Down in here, I'm going to raise it up a little bit. You can see it needs a little bit more cable management. But other than that, it works fine. The only problem that I have right now is when it's running, the fan is crazy loud. So I'm going to boot it up for you right now just to show that it works. But the thing is blazing fast the way it is
and there it goes. And we're already on. Let me, let me open her up. I don't have any speakers hooked up to it right now. But here's the. Uh, I'll give you the Windows Experience Index just to show you what's going on. Oh, I didn't do a system rating yet because I had to reinstall the operating system. I'll do that real quick and come back. Okay, so there's your Windows Experience. It's 4.8, not too shabby. Before the hard drive went south in this, I was getting like 3.7. Uh, so this is very acceptable for this. And uh, I'm happy with the results except for the fans. So what I've got going on now is I'm going to replace the case fan with this guy. This is the fan from the Hyper T2. It's a 92 millimeter. Uh, Cooler Master Blade Master with a, if I can get it in the camera, with a four pin connector. The motherboard has four pin connectors and it, the BIOS has fan control. And I think what's going on here is the fans from the original PC have three pin connectors. I don't know if you can see that or not. You can hear it, you can hear it. They have three pin connectors. I think the original motherboard had some kind of logic on it that controlled the fan speed. So, even though those aren't PWM fans, so uh, I can't confirm that though, and don't take that as the gospel truth. But um, they were running slower and quieter on the old motherboard, so I suspect that's the reason. So I have this 92 millimeter fan I'm going to use for the case. I have on order from Amazon right now an 80 millimeter blade blade master, and that's going to go in tomorrow. And then after that, I will install it, and we'll make another video and we'll compare the sound, and uh, then I'll button it up and that should take care of it. Um, so this is far from over. We'll see you in the next installment through the magic of video editing. So here we are, it's Friday, and I just received in UPS this guy here. This is the Blade Master 80. So with my Blade Master 92, I'm going to pop him into the PC, and then we're going to uh, listen to our fans again. So I will be back when this is uh, all installed and everything's hooked up. So I'm in the computer now and I've taken off the old fan, which is, where is the old fan? The old fan is right here. And I have also cleaned off the blades off the heatsink. And I'm getting ready to install the new fan, which is here. So we'll be right back. Alright, so I have both new fans in now. There's the 80 millimeter. There's the 92 millimeter. And the new fan came with some rubber grommets. So I put them on the case fan because I figured that would be the best application for grommets. And um, what's going on here is since the power supply fan pulls from the bottom and exhausts from the back, what I've got going on is I want the airflow to go this way like so. So um, I've got this fan pulling. This fan is pushing onto the onto the processor like the old fan and then this fan is pulling so it should get some airflow going this way which will carry the warm air out and the I believe the the only thing that could block that possibly is the fan for the graphics card but um, we will see what happens when we finally hook it up, which we're going to do now. Now I'm in the BIOS on the uh, health status and the f current CPU temperature is 34C and the system fan speed, CPU fan, fan speed, I'm sorry, is 1457 RPMs and the system fan is running at 1150. So 
Um, I would call this a successful upgrade at this point. I have my air conditioning off in the room, but now I can stick my camera in here. Let me get my hands out. I can stick my camera in here, and you can barely hear it. This is a big improvement. So, all things considered, I would call this a highly successful upgrade. And let's boot into Windows. And we'll see what happens. Now, I could have put fan speed, or, or I'm sorry, speed fan on this, or something like that. And I might do that later just to monitor the temperature and make sure that everything's working properly but uh, it looks like it's going to work right the other cool thing is is that this is 1066 DDR3 RAM and the motherboard automatically overclocked it to 1333 so I'm good there Let's try it again. So this is done. Hopefully I won't have any more problems with it. Like I said, this is going to be a workstation. Possibly a work at home computer. So, uh, and it needed to be quiet. So, um, this works. This is for my mom. This was her computer. At one point I got it from her in September of last year. And um, just now got around to uh, updating it. So it has a legit copy of Windows 7 Professional. And it's got the 240 gig Silicon Power SSD and a 500 gig Western Digital Blue 5200 RPM drive. So I was kind of concerned that I didn't get the hard drive activity light, the power light, the light for the card reader, the card reader itself, um, the front panel USB, and the front panel audio, but they all work. And also this CD ROM which I may replace with a Sony drive that I have that's a little faster just on eject or I may put one in here I don't know yet and if I do put it in there I'll show you guys later if you have any questions please leave them below uh, if you want you can like and subscribe and as always have a pleasant day everybody really appreciate your viewing